What was the most stressful scene in filming Joker? That's a great question too. And how did you push through it? I don't think there was a thing. You know the scene when he finds the letter that she's written to Thomas Wayne and then he confronts her, right? He confronts her and she runs into the bathroom and, and his mom and he's outside the bathroom. It's a very short scene in the movie. When we shot it, it was a bit longer. It started in the bedroom. He kind of wakes her up and then they go into the bathroom. And right now it's just kind of like truncated in a good way, I think. But that was a bit of a stressful scene because initially it was written that he was even going to wait longer. It was going to actually happen the next morning. He was going to confront her. And so we had planned to do it as the script was and all these things. And I think it, just an example of the ways in which we would often just zig away from our plan all the time. That was one of those examples. And it came very abruptly. It was like we were going to shoot that the next day. And it was he finds the letter. And I think Todd was like, let's just go right into it. I was like, oh, OK, OK. So. It just became a little bit of a stressful thing, not because of the change of plan, but because I think part of me really liked the fact that he waited and there was some elements of that that I was so on board with. And so I think it just shook me up a little bit. And it just I remember it as a stressful shooting day, you know, and, and I'm glad the way it ends up in the movie, which is what it is. But even the result of the way we started in her in the bedroom and. I just remember it was like a day in which, you know, Todd and I were arguing a bit and I just it was a memory of a stressful day for sure. But not necessarily because of the scene itself, you know, even though it's a, it's a emotional scene and he's confronting his mom and all this stuff. It was more of just the way that sometimes scenes in a movie or the the practical nature of shooting the movie can become stressful, you know, time constraints or or um, differences of opinion in that kind of way. So that's, I think, a memory of some of a day being stressful. And where was the apartment constructed? Oh, at Steiner Studio in Brooklyn. So the Murray Franklin set and the apartment were at Steiner. And, uh, and, the, and, and that apartment was, Mark Friedberg, the designer, did an amazing job. That apartment was pretty, like, it was built, on, you know, a story up. So, so it would look, you know, like it was an, on an upper floor. but. It, it was all of his apartment, right, which was like the bedroom, the bathroom, and that main living area with the kitchen. But the, that long hallway is also part of that as well. That was also built on stage. And it's like, I don't even know, 100 feet of hallway. And that actually leads right to Sophie's room. So that whole little quadrant of like Sophie's, the, the long hallway, and the Arthur's apartment was one big stage on set. So. It was pretty, pretty spectacular because I think to get that long hallway would, that would feel like the tenement that, that he lives in, you know, just involved a lot of space. But that hallway obviously plays a lot into the movie as well as the elevator, which was also there as well. And then downstairs, the elevator is part of the practical location that we shot with in, Bro in the Bronx. Like when he's, you know, when, so those tie in together through movie magic. Did you have to do any retakes? Uh, on another, like in LA, or did, did you? No, know? and I remember Todd at one point, we did do some reshooting when we made the movie. So, and that has become, I think, more commonplace because Todd doesn't like reshoots. I think reshoots are super commonplace in big budget movies. Often they'll do two or three big reshoots, you know, in which they'll shoot for weeks. I've been a part of a lot of them. I shot many reshoots on the first Godzilla, I've done reshoots on big movies, you know. Uh, so I recognize what that is as far as modern filmmaking. Todd, in our six movies together, we've shot two additional days and only one reshoot in six movies. Wow, okay. Yeah, and the other additional day was like a coda that we added to the end of Hangover 3. And so it was like one of those things where it was like, oh, we need to shoot one more thing to add as opposed to even a reshoot. But I think with this, and Todd, so you know, even on War Dogs and other movies, I think Todd's become more... Uh, more to the to the mindset of like rather than bring people back which is so hard to get them back in the frame of mind and all that stuff if I feel like there's something I want to try differently I'll reshoot it while we're shooting so like on War Dogs we shot one scene two times in which we shot it he looked at it and he went I, I think there's something we can do better so we'd reshoot it so we did that a couple times on on Joker also recognizing and I remember Todd said this is like the the physical transformation that Joaquin did Losing all that weight, I don't know if he can do this again. 
So the idea that you would cut the movie nine months later, ask Joaquin to retransform his body into that was just untenable. So I think Todd, to his credit, really recognized that like, if there's anything we feel like even we might want to reshoot, we have to do it now. We have to do it within the body of like the days we have. So I think in the last couple of weeks of shooting, we, we allowed for like a little bit of reshooting that we would do. Not a lot, but just a little bit. As well as like even the idea that like, if you had an idea that would come up after you edited the movie, like, oh, I wish we had more scenes of him just by himself exploring insomnia at night, which you might come up with once you cut it, then we started going, well, if we're going to do that, let's do that now. So I think that's like the scene where he, he crawls into the refrigerator was an example of that. Whereas like it wasn't in the script, but it was like through the exploration of either now seeing cuts or just thinking about the movie like Todd is as an editor as well, I think he recognized now is our time to do it. We can't wait until, you know, after the movie's cut. 